What's good YouTube? Alex here and today I'm doing a very different video than I usually do. If you are not subscribed to my channel you would not know this but I pretty much just do sneaker and clothing reviews but for those of you that are subscribed you do know how much of a wrestling fan I am and today after last night I have to make a video talking about Wrestlemania 33. Wow. What a show uh, they build it as the ultimate thrill ride and it definitely delivered so yeah uh, I'm just gonna go match by match give you a little my opinions about it um, I'm not gonna talk about everything in detail because this would be an hour long video but I'm just gonna go over a couple moments I like from each match and if I agree with the outcome or not and yeah that's really it so we're gonna go ahead jump right into it starting off with the kickoff show we had Austin Aries versus Neville for the Cruiserweight Championship. I love both wrestlers. I'm a big fan of Cruiserweight Wrestling. I have been since I was a little kid. Um, and yeah, I, I really wanted Austin Aries to win. I thought he was picking up some good momentum going in, coming straight from commentary, winning on 205 Live to get the opportunity to face Neville at Mania. So I thought he was going over, but Neville is still remaining the king of the Cruiserweights. Um, for the first match of the pre-show, they really went out there with the intent to try and steal the show, um, and it was nice. I really liked the match. Uh, whenever they did the big Hurricane Rana off the top, that was sweet. Uh, Austin Aries doing the 450. He's always good at that. Neville doing the Red Arrow again. Um, I'm glad he's doing that. I'm not really a fan of him doing uh, the Rings of Saturn to win matches. I love him doing high-flying moves. He's a little guy. He started out as a high flyer, but I get with the more heel attitude. Use a uh, submission to win a match. I get it. But yeah, Neville went over. Cruiserweight champion. Um, hopefully Austin wins it soon. And then next we had the Andre the Giant. But more about a Royal, it's whatever. I felt Sami Zayn should have won. Um, just honestly, I felt Sami Zayn should have won. <laughs> but uh, Mojo Raleigh won. Rob Gronkowski got in the ring. I thought it was really funny when he jumped the barricade and that one female security guard, <laughs> she rushed right up to him and was like, no, you, you ain't doing this today. And then the refs told her, hey, he's part of this. So, yeah. Obviously, she skipped the meeting that everybody was supposed to attend to know that hey Rob's part of the show tonight but hey that's whatever uh, Mojo won cool I don't, I don't care I would have preferred Sammy or even Dolph Ziggler but yeah Mojo won the next we had for the final match of the pre-show Dean and Baron I'm glad they put this on the pre-show because it sucked this match was terrible it was slow I like Baron Corbin I wish he would have won. Uh, I like Dean Ambrose occasionally, but lately he's just been completely stale. Um, he's got to get rid of that title because it's doing nothing with him being the holder. It's really just, uh, just a random title just there. But whatever. Match was boring. Uh, I wish Baron would have won, and that's all I'm going to say about that. Main show starts, all the pyro, everything. They used a ton of pyro this year, which is really cool. I like that a lot. And then, obviously, the first match of the night, the phenomenal one, AJ Styles versus Shane McMahon. Uh, everybody thought this match was going to be, like, just whatever. But I knew going into it, I knew Shane would pull some crazy stuff out. AJ could have a five-star match with a broomstick. But, hey, the match was great. I loved it. Uh, whenever AJ went for the coast to coast and then Shane smacked him with the trash can, that was cool. Even though I am a huge AJ Styles fan, that was cool. Seeing Shane, man, you got some balls, Shane, going for that shooting star press. Uh, and I know when your knees hit the mat, my knees buckled too. Boy, that looked like it hurt so bad. <laughs> and then doing the leap of faith and AJ moving, that was great. He barely got out of there like at the last second too, so that made it look even more better. And AJ won, phenomenal forearm, as he should. There was really no point in Shane winning that match. But 
the phenomenal one goes over as he should. And yeah, that's just great. Next we got uh, Kevin Owens and Chris Jericho. That match was good. Uh, I knew going into it that Kevin was probably going to win because it's about time for Jericho to go on tour with his band Fozzy. And yeah, it was a good match. I like the giant list of Jericho. <laughs> that was cool. Um, but yeah, good match. Those two are definitely workhorses and they can put on some good matches. And Kevin is champ. I like it. Uh, so yeah, that's really all I got to say about that. Then next we got the Fatal 4-Way match for the Raw Women's Championship. It was alright. Um, I'm not a fan of Charlotte, the character, but I am a fan of her in-ring work. Uh, she's just a step above every other woman currently wrestling. Um, when she did the corkscrew moonsault, that was perfect. Nia went out first, that's what I had predicted, and I honestly thought it would come down to Bailey and Sasha and then we'd get a heel turn out of Sasha and she would win the title but obviously that did not happen Bailey is still the women's champion that's cool for her and yeah it's really all I can say about that decent match and on to the next one now the next one oh boy the ladder match for the Raw Tag Team Championships I'm getting goosebumps right now thinking about it um yeah, so we come out, Enzo and Cass do their thing, great first Wrestlemania entrance for them, happy for them, Sheamus and Cesaro come out, they're both wearing matching suits and kilts, they look like a real tag team now, don't they? But yeah, they came out, and then obviously the club came out, going into this match, I wanted the club to win, because obviously I'm a fan, but, 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 but. And when the New Day came out, a little thing clicked in the back of my head. I said, are they really going to do this? Are they really going to do this? Thinking that these two individuals just had a ladder match the night before with the Young Bucks. And sure enough, the New Day came out, introduced, there is another competitor in this match. And sure enough, oh boy, when this logo right here. I've had this since 2007, boy. When this logo came up on the screen, dog, um, Jeff Hardy is my favorite wrestler of all time. So seeing him and Matt back in the WWE is amazing. Um, the Hardy Boys, my favorite tag team of all time. And seeing this logo came out just brought a rush through my body, I jumped off the couch, I was hyped, I wish I would have been recording myself because I was extremely excited and for them to come out and win the Raw Tag Team Championships, it's amazing, <laughs> it was honestly amazing. I did record on my Snapchat, so I'm going to go ahead and roll that clip now. Oh my god, the Hardy Boys are back in the WWE. Yeah, so that was it. Uh, Snapchat, I had to send it to my friends that weren't there watching it with me. Uh, I was extremely hyped. Uh, the Hardy Boys are back. And I I cannot wait for Raw tonight. This is probably going to be the most viewed Raw in a long time. I know I'm excited for it, and I'm never excited for Raw. Hopefully Finn Balor comes back tonight, too. They're just going to add, keep adding the star power, because I know... They want Raw to be the number one show, even though SmackDown is. So, SmackDown's the true number one show in my heart. But Raw, obviously, is going to have more viewers. But, yeah, Matt and Jeff are back. And they're kind of broken. They're not all the way broken. They're kind of broken. But, hey, we'll see how that goes. I'm just glad they're home. And after that, we've got The Miz and Maurice versus John and Nikki. I'm not a John Cena fan in the least bit. Uh, or Nikki Bella. I mean, they're, they're all right. I'm, I'm cold chilling right now. <laughs> but uh, Miz and Maurice, I wanted them to win for obvious reasons because I don't like John Cena. But they didn't. And as I predicted, I said, if they if him and Nikki win, he's proposing. And sure enough, he did. Um, 
I guess congrats to them. Okay, it's a long time coming. I figured he would have already done it, but hey, doing it at WrestleMania, that's really the way to go. But yeah, next we've got Seth Rollins and Triple H. I'm a fan of both guys. Unsanctioned match. Bring it on. Um, their entrances were cool too. I like when Seth came out and all gold and lit the ramp with his burning stick of fire. <laughs> Looked like he came straight from the Olympics. But that was cool. Triple H getting a police escort inside the ring. That was nice. I'm always excited to see Triple H's entrance every year. Because you never know what it's going to be. But that match was great. I picked Seth Rollins going in. And of course, Seth Rollins won. Uh, yeah. It's about time he hit Triple H with that pedigree and got the win. Hopefully, alright, my camera just shut off. But having the worms and cockroaches and everything projected down onto the ring mat, that was actually kind of cool. But just the match overall, it was super slow. Wish it would have been better. Uh... I seen Randy winning the title from the beginning because I just knew how it was going to go. Uh, I wish Bray had a little bit longer of a title reign, but what you going to do? Randy wins. I'm cool with it. And next, we've got Goldberg and Brock Lesnar. I, t I tweeted. I said, this match will not go longer than five minutes. Sure enough, just about four minutes and 47 seconds. I know my wrestling I knew exactly how this was going to go. It seemed like all that was in the match, he took him straight to Suplex City. That was awesome. I'm happy about that. Uh, and then a couple spears, a jackhammer. Finally, he can kick out of a jackhammer. He could have done that at Survivor Series. We couldn't have, couldn't have wasted some time on this match. But uh, he kicked out and then ultimately hit him with the F5. Brock Lesnar wins. Thank you. I was so tired of seeing Oldberg as the champ. Um, really, I didn't care for him being back. I hate, I honestly hate having them come and do part-time champs. Uh, I'm not a fan of Brock Lesnar doing it. I would rather have a champ that's there all the time doing stuff. But, hey, if Brock was to come back and be more active, I'd like it. But, obviously, we know he's not going to do that. So yeah, uh, that match was whatever, and starting around that time, I'm starting to think, I'm like, are we going to not have the SmackDown Women's Championship match? And then, sure enough, they came out afterwards, so I was definitely happy about that. They went from the pre-show to being co-main event, so that's awesome. Congrats to all those women. Really wish Alexa Bliss would have won, but I see the point of having Naomi win in her hometown. It's all great. Uh, congrats to her. Uh, the match itself was all right. Uh, wish it would have been a little better. Uh, have some more spots to it, but it was all right. What, what can you do? Uh, hopefully, Alexa gets her title back soon. And yeah, and then the main event: Undertaker versus Roman Reigns. No holds barred. Uh, this match was very slow. Uh, I knew going into this that there was a high possibility of this being Taker's last match and I honestly didn't believe it until it happened and he's in the ring taking his gloves, jacket, and hat off. Doing that at the end was just crazy. I got chills from it because you're really seeing the last of a dying breed go. I mean, if he's done done, he's done. But I could honestly see Vince trying to talk him into one more match next year against John Cena. But I don't see Undertaker doing it. Uh, we'll have to wait till next year and find out. But, oh man, it was, the match was just, eh. I mean, really. Undertaker, he's getting up there, so he can't do all the dives and stuff that we've known from past years and... I mean, it's whatever. I'm not a Roman Reigns fan unless he's with the Shield. So obviously, like everyone else, I was booing him from my couch. But, I mean, it's just weird. The Undertaker's done. It was cool at the end how he came out, went over, kissed Michelle McCool, and then did the arm raising and 
sunk back down. That was really cool. I like how they did that. So I don't know. We'll find out tonight on Raw if he's really gone or if they even mention it at all. I'm sure they will. But yeah, like I said, I'm very excited for Raw tonight. This is the first time I've been excited for Raw in a while. Hopefully we get some surprises, maybe a couple NXT debuts. Uh, the Hardy Boys are back. The Hardy Boys are back. The Hardy Boys are back. That's literally all I'm excited for tonight. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what they do. And yeah, that's really it. Um, this was my first time doing one of these videos. Let me know what you thought. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to my channel, click subscribe, and I may do more videos like this soon. Uh, if you like sneakers and clothing, subscribe as well. Uh, yeah, that's really it. Also, before I go, if you're new, you would not know this, but I have a clothing brand. I'm scripted worldwide. And being the wrestling fans that everybody that we own this brand is, that came out terribly. But... Uh, we did an Unscripted Mania release, which is available right now, featuring this hat right here, and two t-shirts, one inspired by DX and the other one inspired by the WWF logo in the early 90s, the blue and yellow one. So go ahead and check it out, that link will be down in the description. Uh, follow me on social media, all that info will be down in the description. So yeah, let me know what you thought of this video, let me know what you thought of WrestleMania, I definitely want to talk with you guys down in the comments section. So yeah. I don't know how long this video is going to be. I tried to make it short, but sometimes I ramble and videos go longer than expected. But yeah, that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed. Take it easy and I'll catch you next time, YouTube. Thanks. Peace.